Aloha and welcome back! I'm Fate Panther and this is Monster Sanctuary. I just realized that Dudu here, or Dodo here, is two levels behind. There we go. First, every magic attack has a 10% chance. Uh. Ooh, what was this? Uh, combo buffing. Channel buff also increases damage dealt. Oh. Hell yeah. Rage. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Rage of the Jew. <laughs> All right. I have no idea if this will work the way I intend it to. I really hope it does. Yes! Oh, 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 no. Okay. Now let, let's see how the healing works. He doesn't have enough mana regeneration. That's a problem. We need to make sure he gets more. Oh, this is gonna be insane! Yeah! Can't get rid of buffs on the enemy side. But that's not that big of a problem.
even before his turn. We, we definitely have to get doo doo with some uh, extra mana regeneration. That gives health and filter health. Right. I can't use that. Oh, so there's nothing that gives health and mana regeneration. Fine. Take care of you instead. There we go. That should work. Hello then, young people. What a pleasant surprise. I was looking out at the ocean and reminiscing about my family history. I can see you're an adventurous type who'd rather just go out there and live your own stories. But stay a while and listen, won't you? Okay. Person from Diablo. Um, I don't remember your name. There might be something in it for you too. Hey there! Did you come to... at the Peach? Or did you hear the story? Blah blah blah. You heard right! I'm encountering monster keepers. Encouraging monster keepers to uh, go looking for a treasure cave that I believe is hidden somewhere deep in the sea. I have a weird feeling that you're tricking us. But first, let me explain a bit. So, you know I'm not just making all this up. One of my ancestors actually happened to be a very well-known pirate, infamous across the oceans of the Old World. He lived around 300 years ago. He was actually a monster keeper. You're probably wondering how he did... How did he become famous in the... Infamous in the Old World, even though he was a resident of the Monster Sanctuary? Considering the barrier separates us, which is only a very few keepers are allowed to cross. I'm telling you, my ancestor had a ship that allowed him to cross the barrier freely, at any time he wished to do so. That, and the fact that his whole crew was composed of monsters, made him a terror of the old world seas. But eventually, he passed on. Most of his treasures were never found. He did leave some uh, behind some clues of his uh, for his descendants. Of course, our family has always kept these clues for themselves. Well, I've decided that I want to see the treasures uncovered before I pass on myself. My own children aren't very, uh, really interested in it, so now I'm hiring any keepers who have curiosity and the will to find these treasures. Who knows what could be down there in the treasure cave? I don't know for sure that there's a mem memorial ring down there. I do know for sure there's a memorial ring out there. Ooh. So ancient, in fact, nobody in my family even knows the darn words anymore. That's all I really care about. Bring me the ring. Oh.
Alright, cool. As I said, alright. He also left behind an encoded message. Okay. It takes three to enter the Maw of the Beast. Let's be a final hint. See ya. By the way, there was another keeper who passed through here just before you arrived. It's quite eager and already went ahead. Alright, sounds fun. Let's go. Can't go there just yet. Fuck yeah! You'll need to work on your mana regeneration. You didn't know. As they are. My goblin team is still like superior overall. Hey, a Nautilus!
Hey, Gabo team. Just keep tacking it on the, the spellcaster. <laughs> Actually, my, my other team was doing fine. This area is just a pain. Alright, alright. The moment I can, I'm dark shifting the the uh, doo doo. Thank you. 
That was with a normal attack. A normal attack. Yeah, no, no. This team is fine. It's just what we're facing is a lot tougher than I'm used to. And I'm I also... Hey, who is up there? Hi. Oh, it's you. Fate usually is a heart's mistress. I'm stuck down here, fated to starve. Just get a fucking crystal breaker. Don't listen to him. We need your help. Get, get him out of here on a row. But don't just rush into the pit like we did. You'll need a flying monster. I mean one that is capable of proved flying. There are only hope. Uh, eastern... Cliffs. We should probably help them, right? Even if it is Leonard, leaving them down there would just be cruel. Do we have... Wait, we do? Wait, we have a monster with improved flying? One? What? Do you, just recently, I... I think it's saying to say thank you. Huh. Blah blah blah. Guess I know you want for now. Let me. Uh. Strange looking place. I think you could help me solve this puzzle. Okay, cool. Alright. Wait, what? Flying. I need improved flying. Freeze. Tackle. You have improved flying!
Oh, hi. Must be the entrance to the treasure cave. I'm sure of it. Just don't get how we're supposed to open it. I'm pretty sure the switch is on the uh, ground or key to it. More accurately, we are the key. It takes three to enter the beast, remember? So let's try to stand on the... Oh, all right, let's try. I mean, really, it would only take two of us. this. Hey, two monsters I just don't have yet. Right, I need to give them skill potions. You have even one stack of burn that ignores 50% of your damage resistance. Thirteen hits. Oh my god. I can 
completely forgot about this. Okay. Um... But let's get with this. Oh, okay. Daring and uh, the daring, extraordinary, and fancy escapades of Captain Carter. Written here are the true accounts of me, Captain Carter, the legendary pirate who terrorized the old world's oceans with it uh, with his band of monsters. These accounts are written after I decided to retire from the life of piracy, but the stories of my deeds shall live on forever. If you are the first to read this. You must have found out how to enter my treasure cave. Well done! You've proven to be my equal. However, to get my most valuable treasures, you will need to defeat the guardian that I have left behind. One of my most loyal monsters. An ageless creature of the deep. That's the end of the introduction. There is bookmark. November 10th. 202 AC. Today, when I was enjoying a fine drink at a certain wretched hive of scum and villainy, which shall remain unnamed, I was approached by a strange uh, character. He called himself an alchemist. He called himself an alchemist. What I like the most, though, is that he stated, uh, started the conversation with a drop of heavy Pout, uh, with a heavy pouch of clinking golden coins on the table. He wanted to hire me as a simpler smuggler job. Uh, is this a fucking Star Wars? Him and a group of other alchemists wanted to get inside the monster sanctuary, thanks to my ship, which was able to freely cross the... Oh, this is how they got in. Sure, they were all rather strange fellows, wearing robes and masks, with names unlike any I've heard of the old world. But on the other hand, they had a lot of gold, and almost as if they were able to craft it themselves. Interesting, isn't it? I realized too late that it was false gold. All turned brittle after a month or two. They had tricked me, and I am not ashamed to admit it. There's another reason why I regret accepting the job, though. Their leader in particular called himself Marduk. Gave me the creeps. I never actually talked to him, or saw what was under his mask but I heard the other alchemists whispering about him, as if they were afraid of him themselves. I heard them... <sighs> I heard them say that none of them knew, in fact, what he looked like. Some even said that his figure and voice would change sometimes, like he could shapeshift or something. I truly dread what might happen if I brought... Uh, if have brought... I truly dread what I might have brought into the sanctuary, even if I don't live to see it fully unfold. It's the end of that part. Da -da -da. Mm.
Oh, I forgot to give Dodo or Dudu uh, increased. I mean, sure. And all gone. Before they could even do any damage. As far as getting five and, uh, or so stars, this team's not particularly good at that. Survivability? Oh man. switch out the team, uh, because, again, no. they are not good at getting that 5-star. Elder Jelly. For time. 
Oh, okay, so he's got H. <laughs> we'll steal Olam. Uh, oh, come on. Da 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 da. Oh, okay. Sure. We need to get rid of him because chill is going to be a real problem for me. I should have got him with helping hand too. that swirling, like, chill effect. I'm very sick of that. There we go. Yeah, I'm sorry, like, this team is survival incarnate. Weak against water, water. I don't have a lot of water.
Like when it comes down to, hey, this is a duel so I won't get graded, these guys are my starter. You, I have to get rid of. Fine. Focus everything on that cat. Honestly, thought it would be an easy win. Teaches me not to underestimate you. Hell fucking yeah! Alright then, you can go ahead and fight the Elder Dylan. Okay, um... Spends a turn without attacking the enemy, apply a random. Yes. When applying a buff, also heal the target, which will be nice. Okay, heal. That's it for this episode, folks. Uh, in the next one, I will attack the Elder Jelly with my goblin crew. Until next time, have fun, be safe, and aloha.